Hey guys, OBF back here, back again with another Vans review. And today I have a pair of Authentics off the vault line. This is from the two thirds collaboration that dropped a couple months back now. Colorway is Arona. These are a size 12 and they retail for $80. Comes in your standard blue and white vault box. Two thirds is a Barcelona based brand focused on the preservation and the conservation of our oceans, hence the name two thirds. Two thirds of the planet being made up of water. Uh, they're known for using organic, recycled, and biodegradable materials along with water based inks to help uh, lower the impact that they make on the environment. While other companies like to call themselves green, two thirds likes to call itself the blue company, as we see here on the tongue. Obviously, with a clear focus on saving the oceans. Every shoe in this pack is uh, dedicated to a two-thirds advocate. Um, this particular one is dedicated to Danish artist Emil Kozak. And I'm not exactly sure he might or might not be the guy who designed all the shoes in the pack or at least designed the patterns. Not exactly sure. This particular print is called the Fish Swarm. Uh, you see it on the Authentics here and also on the classic slip-ons in this pack. There were a couple different models in this pack. You have the Authentics, Classic Slip-On, a pair of Skate Highs, and a pair of Eras. This one was definitely my favorite in the pack, along with probably the Skate Highs. Um, but yeah, I haven't really picked up a pair of Authentics in a while. Uh, not since the Mystic Cartoons, at least. So uh, I thought I was definitely slipping on that. It is one of my favorite models. So went ahead and copped these for 50% off, so I was pretty happy about that. As you can see, the entire upper of the shoe is made up in several different tones of blue, obviously being uh, what Two Thirds is focused on. You got this really cool patch here on the tongue, it says Two Thirds, the blue company. This is the logo or the patch that they use for all of the other um, items that they sell. Jackets, sweaters, pants, whatever it is they use this patch. So the entire upper here focuses on uh, the fish swarm pattern and it's just a bunch of like streaks in the shoe really. You just have like that deep blue background and then there is some black and some of this lightish like steel baby blue color which is really cool. That's pretty much the focus uh, throughout the shoe that color that like steel baby blue color. You have it on the piping or the foxing stripe. You have it on the trim of the shoe. The entire tongue is made up of that color and obviously these really cool braided laces. Even on the Vans logo here on the side, you see some of that blue. The tag is a little bit different as you can see here. I believe this is made of recycled materials and you got the Vans logo kind of crudely uh, em embroidered in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, this particular shoe follows the two thirds concept of like recycling and uh, using the water-based ink. So the sole of the shoe is actually a recycled sole and the upper, all of the colors on the shoe are used from water-based inks, which is pretty cool. The midsole here is like a off-whitish color, like a cream color, along with the off-the-wall skateboard on the heel tab. And then you got some white contrast stitching throughout. Pretty basic canvas shoe. I mean, the material feels a little bit finer than your typical canvas. Does feel pretty nice, along with the interior of the shoe also in that same material but kind of like in a natural color you got your somewhat darker gum waff loud sole and then on the insole here we have the two-thirds and the vans vault logo in there these do feature ortholite insoles so they are going to be very comfortable and the extra laces that come with these are actually the same style braided lace but in black which is pretty cool I'm definitely going to stick with these like steel blue colored laces though. You got the silver metal eyelets on the side there and that's pretty much the shoe. Pretty simple. These guys do fit true to size. As I mentioned, they retail for $80. It's a somewhat older release so you guys might be able to find these on sale like I did. And I hope you guys like the review and be sure to stay tuned for the on feet.